As the days go by, Ghana's population keeps increasing, with an annual population growth rate of 2.5 percent. Housing in urban areas has become just as key as educating the next generation. But the quest for better and safer residential neighborhoods, as well as the need for space for industrial manufacturing, has been breeding tensions at Aquitiman near La Paz for nearly a decade, and the residents cannot take it. Any longer. We cannot wait till there is an epidemic breaking out in this neighborhood so that before people will come and cover and then start um, propagating what we are going through. We are taking action now. It all began about two decades ago when candy production company Royal Sweets set up its factory at Aquitiman. The population then was not as it is now, neither was the production load of the company as big as it is today. Today, the residents say the pollutants released into the atmosphere every day by Royal Sweets is killing them slowly. One of them, Berima, tells City News he has suffered enough and as such, he plans to sell off his house and relocate. Occasion time is called Christmas and I say Easter Muno. Omo ye day and night. It is a semi fear, yes, you will see what's an own son. What the wa? Bone say, a dining master son. Now, who may be to a petty with no bones, we see a red dining. Now, be a baby general under a bad direct. In tea and sad fat men call me wife, when you have problem. And no sooner come, Miss Minya, me baba consusa. I ain't in a met my cousin, your whole crack tire, dear co hospital. I'm ready to move up here. I mean, who be two of you? Me too. If you're near me, but if I can get opportunity, I will sell it. I don't want to come to the area. The BIA, yeah, whom we see, you know, just said they are gradually killing us. Who could you and Kakra Kakra? There's a more who you and Kassan. Eh, whom you whoop up. It happened to us a lot because even my firstborn is in SS at Kukurantum. Sometimes the money I used to give myself, I know things. So always. Every week, they are saying I'm something small. Health-wise, is this a challenge for you? Oh, surely. Because sometimes they used to cough. I sent them to hospital to go spend money. Jalil took us to the bedroom of his two-year-old daughter, where she is said to have suffered heart problems believed to be associated with the fumes that fills the room from Royal Suites. Billowing smoke from the chimneys of Royal Suites. It's taking over and it looks like the cloud itself. Sick and dark. This is what the residents of Aquitiman are complaining of. Meanwhile, managers of Royal Suites angrily threw us out of their premise when we sought their side of the story. Away from Royal Suites, Equia from Poma, who ran a thriving food joint until, according to her, the fumes from the companies wrecked havoc on the business spoke to city news when they open their small in fact nobody can sit they'll be complaining the customers have been complaining 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 we've been telling them there's nothing we can do about it it's not as if they are doing their own thing so we don't have a say in it so we have to shut the shop down and sit down and wait for them don't let the children even play outside they are always indoors Daniel Opoku is a retired civil servant. He decries how pollutants from Royal Suites has affected his family and his environment. It has been polluted. And this is not the first. I've gone to the community. I've seen mangoes are not growing. Oranges are not growing. We did, we did purple, this one. Eh? I did not mean the rain that came last Thursday. It would have been black. With time, you see, you, you feel uh, 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 nausea. Yes. Eh? You feel like you, you, you want to vomit. It's because of them. Eric Aquete's great-grandparents were among the earliest settlers here at Aquete Man. He operates a pub and a restaurant that is almost on its knees. It has affected me gravely to the extent that, as you can see, the place is empty. This morning, nobody, no, not one single person has come for breakfast because the emissions this morning was enormous. And when it happens that way, customers cannot sit down 
and enjoy themselves and it has affected me for the past couple of years it is by divine grace that i'm still operating but as you can see the whole place is empty i have tried my hardest to build in air condition and everything so that people may feel comfortable the stage not not only diffuses but it goes through the gutters as well and it is so it is so i don't know the right adjective to qualify it but it is smelly to the extent that for about 10 to 15 meters you cannot stand within it eric has been leading the residents here to get authorities to intervene since 2009. He says he and his fellow residents are frustrated and are running out of options. For the past nine years, we've been pursuing this matter. And you don't think, we, are, we will not wait for a tragic circumstance or something outrageous to happen to the citizenry before we will we, we will uh, lift, get up and wake up in arms to men confront them. We will not wait anymore. This year we are resolved that come what me by all useful and necessary means. Authorities of the Okaikwe North Municipal Assembly were unavailable for an interview as at press time. However, the Member of Parliament for the constituency, Fuseini Issa, whose office is also affected by the operations of Royal Suites, tells me of his efforts to deal with the matter. I have my office here, so certainly um, what's going on affects me. And I've had complaints from people in the area. So I wrote formally to the assembly. There are people in charge. Um, initially, they didn't even allow the people from the assembly access to their premises. So they had to go to court. They were fined, and they promised that by last November, they were going to rectify whatever was causing all these emissions into the air. But I have documents that I can show to you so you can see that we have made some effort. November has come past December, January, and I'm still following the assembly. As a member of parliament, I have my office here. I have just one staff here. So, and, and we don't have the power. So I have to depend on the assembly to get issues like this resolved. I engaged the chairman of the Ghana Standard Authorities Technical Committee on environment, Professor Chris Gordon, for an authoritative interpretation of the challenges residents of Akwetiman are facing. From the video, um, you can see there's a emission in a built-up area, a residential area. And one of the things Standard Authority is finalizing with the EPA is a technical standard for emission from chimneys, into ambient air and the fact that you can actually see the black smoke coming out means that those limits have been exceeded so clearly something needs to be done to control the emission from the factory but at this point in time what we have is a crisis in the process of developing and I think by this report that you've done the videos you are highlighting the problem to the authorities so that they can step up and take action. The action is how do we maintain the employment, how do you maintain the operations of the factory in such a way that it does not impact the people around the factory. Because now you cannot move either. Ideally the people should not have been allowed to build around the factory. That should have been kept for the purpose that the land was originally planned for. If it turns out that the zoning was for residential and a factory has developed over time where it should not be, then that is another matter. Manufacturing companies like Royal Suites may have to adapt innovative means of production or expect bitter reactions from neighboring residents. On the other hand, Ghana must urgently meet her development aspirations through industrialization with proper settlement planning or expect her development aspirations to be frequently frustrated by resident industry conflicts. Caleb Kuda, City News, Akwetiman, Accra.